Hello, I'm Alex Bobatek, co-chairman of MOG, and with me today I have Manos. Thank you, Alex. I'm Manos Otomakakis. I'm the co-chair of the academic committee here in uh, MOG. With the convergence of internet and telephony, we're seeing the kinds of abuse that we've historically seen in the internet move to telephony. For example, the Bahamas cruise scams that we've seen. We've seen emails, we've seen text messages. We're now getting calls, unwanted telephone calls. It's the same actors, it's the same scams. This has to be dealt with holistically. So MOG has formed the Voice and Telephony Abuse SIG Special Interest Group to help us organize as an industry and academic community, uh, pulling in regulators uh, and people from all parts of the ecosystem, except of course the abusers, uh, to help do something about this problem. We're taking this on very seriously, applying the expertise that we have in the anti-abuse area, uh, which has been responsible for mitigating email, uh, malware, and other types of abuse in the internet into the telephony world. Uh, we have the very similar methods being used to attack us. As we've clamped down on things like text abuse and email abuse, the criminals are moving to this other medium. And as the technology behind the internet and telephony networks converge, as we move from landline phones using the TDMA networks uh, to IP SIP based uh, uh, telecommunications, we have this convergence. The identities being used are the same. Your phone number is, be is being used um, in, in both these cases for text messaging, voice calling, and the, tech and the underlying protocols are also the same now. We have SIP being used for sending text messages as we migrate over the next few years. So we have a convergence of technology uh, that is making not only the abuse, but also the defense and actions that we take to mitigate and control this abuse uh, to be more, more and more common. Uh, so I'd like to, uh, and we have Manos here with us today, uh, who is uh, in academia and has a lot of experience in, uh, in fighting abuse. And that, could you tell us how some of the things we're doing and have learned in, internet, in fighting internet abuse might be applied to telephony? Absolutely, uh, and thank you very much, Alex, for you know, inviting me here in this, uh, uh, this day. And, uh, uh, the reality is that, you know, uh, in Georgia Tech, we have done uh, historically, uh, we are in the front front of uh, the bleeding research that deals with uh, um, dealing with abuse in the, from the point of the infrastructure. So historically, we have uh, been able to uh, uh, deal with abuse uh, and attribution in the context of uh, botnets and malicious infrastructure. Uh, and in this particular case, uh, in, uh, in mobile and telephony, uh, what we actually see right now is uh, the, the cross uh, effect between uh, abuse that bridges both the, the, the plane of the telephony and the plane of the infrastructure. Historically, we were able to actually provide rigorous uh, uh, analysis and, uh, and bleeding edge systems uh, in attribution from the point of view of, of abuse in the traditional plane. Uh, and we are hoping right now to actually help uh, MOG, uh, our industry partners, and of course, and of course government uh, to raise the situational awareness around the problem and help uh, effectively the industry along with um, uh, academics to, uh, to study the problem in a very rigorous and, um, uh, and, and a precise way. What are the so some of the methods we've used uh, to fight internet abuse? Specifically, uh, are there data feeds we set up? Are there collaborative activities? Historically, historically in Georgia Tech, uh, which effectively is the uh, we are the leading the leading institute from the point of view of research uh, around abuse uh, in the internet, uh, we were able to effectively uh, uh, create breakthroughs in, in this space mainly by combining uh, large scale uh, data analytics with um, uh, the domain knowledge that we actually have from the abusers themselves. So we rigorously study uh, how effectively um, an attack takes place, and we effectively you know combine that with. Um, uh, large data, uh, which our industry partners, MOG, and other forums are actually providing to us in order to actually provide rigorous analysis and effectively model uh, the threat itself. And on the industry side, uh, we, have, we have a situation, unfortunately, in which uh, there is spoofing of identities. The spoofing makes it very difficult for an individual company acting on their own to do anything other than to control abuse that originates on their network. And unfortunately, an originating service provider may not know whether the spoofing is authorized or not, whether it's legitimate or not. 
uh, a, a service provider needs to rely on input that it receives from, for example, the recipients of unwanted calls, uh, and they may be associated with a different service provider. Uh, for this reason, there's a huge need for industry collaboration. One of the things that we can do if we understand the problem well is to take action against the specific accounts from which the abuse is originating. That takes collaboration. Uh, MOG is MOG has created VTA SIG largely to create this forum for collaboration to help develop the methods, uh, taking of course research inputs, uh, to develop the methods and practices by which we collaborate to mitigate this abuse. We're calling on our partners in industry, government, and academia to join us in collaborative efforts to help us counter this abuse. We have been very successful in other areas, for example, email and malware and mobile, uh, mobile threats in controlling this. And we, we seek to apply the same methods. It takes working together. If we work together, we can have an impact. We are calling for you and opening our doors to you and asking you to join our workshops. If I, if I may add one more thing. So um, along, all, along all, all these lines, it's very important um, to effectively have industry partners uh, collaborate with uh, different um, uh, uh, um, uh, components of MOG, like the academic component or the, uh, the center component or the, you know, the, the new TIG that we are actually creating right now in order to effectively um, expose the problem, you know, have a standardized way to actually you know, share data sets among industry and academics and effectively bring together uh, the best you know, uh, academics in the country to effectively rigorously study and solve the problem uh, once for all. We encourage our partners in industry, academia, and government to join us to take action through the MOG Voice and Telephony Abuse SIG. Uh, you can find more information and contact uh, email addresses and points at our website, www.m3aawg.org. Thank you very much, and thank you, thank Manos, you. for joining thank us. Thank you, Alex. Thank you.